Welcome to How to Receive Payments in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, when you have sent an invoice to a customer and you need to receive that payment, meaning they paid you, they sent you a check, maybe they paid by credit card, whatever the case may be. I'm going to show you how to record that payment against that invoice in QuickBooks Online. And hey, if you like what you see here and these videos are helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is the way I get out uh, all these training videos to as many people as possible to show them uh, the best ways, the most effective ways to use QuickBooks so they can make good decisions in their business. So let's get to it here. So I am in a sample company file here. This is Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. So in this business, uh, they send out invoices in QuickBooks. So you can see here they've got uh, add invoice and they send invoices to their customers and then they receive payments. You know, they may receive checks, they may receive, uh, you know, you know, ACH, bank transfers, uh, payments by credit card, etc. And so once you issue an invoice in QuickBooks, you have to then offset that invoice with the payment. Okay. Now, the quickest and easiest way, as you'll see right here on the home screen, you've got the shortcuts and you've got receive payment right here. And we can click on that and you can also go up to this new. So if you click on new, uh, you go down, you see here under customers, receive payment, you can also go there. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to click right here, receive payment. And it brings up this screen that says receive payment and you can see everything on. It's got the customer. You can find it by the invoice number if you want to do that. Uh, you've got payment date, et cetera. So let's walk through this. All right, so let's say you're going to first choose the customer. So let's say that Bill's Windsurf Shop sent in money uh, to our business for an invoice. And so you'll see down here, it's going to list the invoices. You get invoice 1027. You can click on this and go to that invoice if you want to see it. Uh, payment date. So we're going to put in, okay, the payment date is, it's going to default to today's date, but you just put in uh, whatever date that you need to. Generally, it's going to be the date that you're going to record this. Okay. Then we're going to choose our payment method. And you'll see down here, you can choose, you've got Amex, Cash, Check, Diners Club, Discover, etc. Uh, we're going to say this is a check payment. And of course, you're going to choose uh, whatever method is that they're paying. All right, reference number. In this case, this is going to be a check number. So we'll say 54879. Five, okay. Now, this is important right here. So you can put this directly into a checking savings. Um, I generally would not choose inventory, prepaid, etc. Or you can choose undeposited funds. All right. So now if you choose undeposited funds, then you have to do a second step after you record this. When you take the money to the bank or deposit in the bank, could be a mobile deposit, and you have to move that money from undeposited funds in QuickBooks over to your account that you deposited to. So, what, you know, maybe that's checking, savings, whatever it is. All right. So we're just going to choose checking. Uh, sometimes it makes it a little bit simpler if we just say, okay, we're just depositing this straight to the checking. So let's just put it there. Okay. Now, a little tip, if you have multiple payments at one time, uh, let's say, you know, five different customers paid you, then what I would do is I would put them to all two undeposited funds. And then when you make one big deposit for all those checks, move it all as one lump sum over to your checking account. And the reason for that is when you get to the end of the month and you reconcile your checking account, uh, it's going to be much easier to reconcile that one lump sum deposit on your bank statement to the one lump sum deposit in QuickBooks. But if this is just, you know, one check and you're going to go deposit this check by itself, just put it straight to the checking account. Okay. All right. So then we're going to go over here. We're going to say amount received. Uh, we're going to put in $85. Uh, and if for some reason uh, Bill's Windsurf Shop only paid a 65, you're just going to put in 65. Okay, so you'll see there's 65 and there's going to be an open balance then of $20. All right, so we're going to say $85. And let's say that Bill, Bill uh, accidentally paid $100. Okay, well, let's say it was $100. Okay, we're going to have a credit of $15. Okay, so this is going to put a credit on his account that we can choose to refund or we can save that as a credit uh, against future purchases. Okay, so for now, we're just going to put $85 and it's going to automatically put it in here against this invoice. It's going to check it off. If you have multiple invoices, you can check off which ones they go to. 
uh, let's say they have uh, multiple invoices for $1,000 and they pay $500. You can choose which ones they go to. Typically, it's going to apply to the earliest ones first and then uh, go down the list. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can also put in some attachments here. You can put in a memo. You don't have to, uh, but you definitely can. All right. Then down here, you're going to either save a new if you're going to record a new payment, another one, or save and close. So we're going to hit save and close. Okay. Payment received, 54879 saved. Okay. So it didn't close it for some reason. Uh, this is a sample company file. Sometimes it has some bugs in it. But we're going to close that clicking the X. And now we have recorded the payment. Uh, and that invoice is no longer outstanding. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Happy to answer those for you. Also, uh, like I said before, please give this video, if it's been helpful, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel. Would love to have you stay updated with all the videos. Um, I've got over 300 QuickBooks training videos in desktop and online and continue to do more and more. And uh, hopefully they are really helpful. Talk to you soon.